Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today I have here my good colleague Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, pleasure to be here. And we will talk about rated current measurement because we made some in the past some measurement, but now I know about some new IEC standards measurement. So let's get more explain what is this difference. Yeah, so previously it was up to each manufacturer to sort of pick their the PCB size. What the IC standard does standardizes the, the, the size, the thickness of the PCB, as well as different uh, criteria for how it should be measured uh, in, in the chamber and things like this. So you have different thickness of the copper, and then you have different class or something like that? Yeah, different class. So here today we have the class B, class C, and class D. Uh, each of these has different thickness, so we have the one millimeter for class D, wow. one or five micro for class uh, C, and the standard 35 for class B. It's very unusual one millimeter thickness. Yeah, it is very so. unusual, yeah. And I see you have prepared some samples to measure it, and they are black painted. Yeah, so this is for the emissivity for the infrared camera. This is close to uh, one as possible. I understand, so I have no other reflections. And no other okay. reflections So this well, is yeah. some measurements. So we have our infrared camera our enclosure here, so there's no air airflow, not affected by the lab. And we're going to connect it into the fixture here, up to our power supply. And we're ready for the measurement. Okay, now we can see how the temperature rise up. Yep, so you can see here we measure the, the hottest part of the surface of the inductor here. Um, you can see our part's heating up nicely, so we have an ambient of just over 20 and we're getting up to 60, 60 degrees, it's still heating up a little bit there. So we've got around 40 degrees uh, temperature rise uh -huh, with uh -huh, using uh -huh. this PCB. And we always wait until the temperature is not changing anymore. Yep, so it's a leg change uh, one degree per 60 seconds, and if it stays within that, then that's the, uh, the temperature stabilized here. Yeah. And that's by the standard, yes. Okay. There is no airflow, so make, make no. No, nope, there's no force convection, nothing no, like no, this. No. It's in a in a box. It's yeah. still air, and it's only the PCB to act as the heat okay, sink. Okay. Cool. And this is class B, right? This is class B. Yeah. Okay. So let's switch off and put a class D mm -hmm. to see the difference. Yeah. Okay. And now for the class D. Ready to measure. So now we have the class D inside. Yep, so a, a much thicker PCB, a lot more heat dissipation. Wow. So we're only getting a temperature rise of uh, maybe 20 degrees now. Crazy. Same current and uh, you can same see the- Same component. Same component. You can I'm see the wrong. huge difference this makes and how easy it is to maybe manipulate measurements. So the copper thing is, of course, this have a very good heat uh, mm -hmm. conductivity and that makes yeah, so this is defined in the standard, yep. um, but we, uh, you can imagine if you have a design that has really good thermal management, so you have forced air convection, uh, forced air flow, and uh, a heat sink, then this sort of simulates uh, that good thermal management in a PCB. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But I like more the class B measurement, honestly, because more realistic. Yeah. In my opinion, so when I'm designing a power stage or something like that. I think so, yeah, but if you design in these, like say, these good thermal management features, it shows you the sort of peak performance of the yeah, parts, yeah. which is why we put this in the, in the data sheets that yeah. you can go up to these, these currents if you have good thermal management. Absolutely correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank you, Richard. Thank you. It's very informative and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And please read the app application note, which is uh, also in the text below, and watch my next videos.